There's a meme that says, don't grow up, it's a trap. And that is really what I want to talk about. The trap of adulthood. The trap of what happens when we grow up. If we go back and think about when we were children, when we were children, we weren't afraid. When we were children, we believed, we dreamed, our imagination was boundless. But then as we grow up, as we age, we become more cynical. As we grow up, we become more realistic. And so we decide to normalize ourselves, remove the things that, that we love about ourselves in order to fit the cogs of society. The trap is the narrative. The trap is the storyline that society has given us. The world is not what the world says it is. It's whatever you say it is, because you determine what you interpret to be as true or not to be true. I wanna create a world where I get to be my unique self and the whole world is cool with it. Now the benefit of this world that I wanna create is that you too get to be your unique self unabashedly and the whole world will be cool with it. That is the narrative, that is the storyline that I am putting out. But at times I find myself getting caught up with the story of the world. I get caught up trying to please or fit or worry about what another person is thinking. That is the trap. That is what I don't wanna be stuck in. And that's what I don't want anybody that listens to this to be stuck in. So what my goal is, is for people to understand and for myself to remember that I don't care about the normalcy or the thoughts of what the world says it is. What matters is how I perceive it and how I exude that in the way that I live. So don't grow up, it's a trap. Don't fall for what the world says you should be. Be you. But what does that mean exactly? It sounds cliche if you ask me. I'm not saying, you know, be you, be unique. What I'm actually saying is be you, okay? There's a difference between be you, be unique. I'm saying be you. And you have to do some kind of introspective work to find out who do I really wanna be? If I allowed my child self to determine who I would be, who would that be? For me, I can't be stuck in the cog of just being a consultant. I can't be stuck in the cog of just being a personal trainer. I want lifestyle, I want travel, I want all this stuff at the same time, simultaneous. And so many people will say that's not possible, but they're not in me, right? They're not writing my narrative. If I take in what they say, then their narrative leads my life. But if I ignore it, if I remember what it is that I'm trying to do, then I start to create ways to realistically make this happen. And that's what I'm doing right now. So whatever it is that you wanna do, whoever it is that you wanna be, your childhood self wants to be, go for it. Chase the stars. You may just get the moon, but chase the stars. And then at least you can say, I chased the stars. I lived my life to the full. And though I had failures and I have, wasn't able to achieve everything that I wanted to, I took the risk. And that's really the space that we wanna to get to. It's not about the outcome, it's about the risk. It's about the adventure, it's about pushing forward. And so what I say to you is this, take time and think about who it is you wanna be. You only get one life. And see how you can fuse that with the life that you're living now. I'm not saying that your life is bad now, but I'm saying what else can it be? What else can you infuse into it that comes and springs from that inner child within you? Don't fall for the trap. Live the life that you desire. Break the mold. I hope this is helpful. I had to get that out.